Hello, beautiful people. It's been a couple of weeks since I uploaded, I know. Actually, it might have been longer than a couple of weeks. I don't exactly know the time frame. Uh, but if you watched my last video, or at least I did mention why I'd be going. I was going on a little bit of a trip. Although, to be a bit more accurate, I went on one trip that was about a week long. And then as soon as I got back, I went on another trip. And then when I got back from that trip, I went on another trip. And then now I'm back from that trip. So I've been a little bit busy. And you know what, it's given me like something to think about, you know? Like, there are people in this world, there are people on YouTube who upload every day, and have done that for like years. How do you do that? How do you manage to just not be busy? I like, what are you doing? I don't get it. How do you have that much free time? Good for you, I guess. I mean, surely stuff must come up, right? How? Anyway, welcome to the comment board. Starting off, we've got Alex Graham, just in time, I needed my Terraria fix, best of luck, smile. That didn't age well, I haven't uploaded in a couple of weeks. Hopefully you didn't need a Terraria fix in the last couple of weeks. Joey Skeleton, I just combined these comments, these were two separate comments, but you know what? Signs are expensive. Put the P in the box. I don't think P is supposed to be green. Uh, mine is. Sounds more like a you problem. Personally. Also, from Jelly. Why did I... I forgot to put the rest of his name. Okay. New thing you should do. Pin whoever is first so people would have a reason to view your vids quickly. The reason I'm not first is because I wasn't home. Not much no excuse, but okay. But I will be first next time. Also, please put all the mods you use in the description. I will do that. I kind of forgot to do that. My bad. Illis Gabriel says, I need to know how to download Calamity. I did answer this comment in the comments section, so that's that. Welcome, everybody! It's such a fun time we're going to have today. Probably. I hope so. Anyway, so the plan for today was to obviously fight Leviathan. Uh, the problem with that being because of the 1.4 Calamity port, it kind of broke the world. And I actually looked this up, and it seems that multiple other people have had a problem with the oceans specifically, like the Abyss, too, uh, with the 1.4 port. And so, luckily, or maybe unluckily, I don't know, that seems to be a problem multiple people are having. But you know, that's how mods go, and you know, updates and stuff. Things break sometimes, stuff happens. Worst comes to worst, I'll just have to fight Leviathan on another world, and I don't think Leviathan changes anything in the world, so it won't be like detrimental. Anyway, so, uh, before I fight Leviathan, what I'd like to do is actually go and get some life fruit so I can top myself up to full health. That shouldn't take very long, hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. I think I need to get some extra because there's probably another thing I can make that increases my health. It's the blood orange, I think. So I will be right back after I do that. Alright, well, I think I've got enough. I'll go ahead and grab this one. Uh, I ended up checking the recipe book and saw that I could probably make Asgard's Veiler right now, so I went ahead and got the life root for that, and I think I should be good. Yeah, I'm good to go. Alright, so I'm going to get a huge health boost now. Very satisfying. I also killed some astral enemies, got some stardust, and I'm pretty sure if I check here... Can I make a mana upgrade? But yeah, I can make a comet shard right now. I don't have 150 dust, but I mean, I can get it probably. I need a blood root. Okay, well, wait, I can make this. Uh oh. Okay, well, first things first, I do need to get to the ornate shield and shield of the ocean, I guess. Look at me, I never uh, got cryo, or I guess. How do I make Victide? Oh, it's he remains, okay. Okay, well, there's one down. And I guess I'm gonna have to mine for cryo war. Ugh, gross. By the way, I've kind of been playing the heck out of Friday Night Funkin' lately. It's a fun game, I actually really like the game. I like rhythm games in general, but that one's actually my favorite. Uh, aside from Beat Saber, I would say. Still very heated that that's the most viewed video on my channel. I'm ashamed, I guess? How do you guys feel if I made that like the sole content I made on my channel? That would probably grow my channel, honestly. I'm not gonna do that because I have some standards, but you know, I could do it. I could do it. Could be enough. I don't really need a lot. 
Ornate shield, how do I make? I need crystal, I bet. That sounds like something I would need. There we go. Okay, problem solved. Now I can make... I cannot make Asgard's Veil yet. What do I need? Oh, okay, never mind. That's easy. Now I can make Asgard's Veil. Okay, very good. Good accessories. Good answer. Holy. Okay. Oh my gosh, I have a dash now. And I can just go down here and probably grab like a blood root really quickly. They're pretty common, I think. Yeah, there's one right here. Okay, that was really quick. There we go. Sweet. Okay. 545 max health. Whatever. Finley Mega Chippy, how's it going? Kind of forgot that I built that. Here's the Astral Ore, right next to the other meteor. That's funny. As we can see, the Astral Biome got completely screwed over by the jungle. Very cool. Okay, well, I got a little bit more Stardust than I needed. Uh, it's fine. Oh, I got the Stardust key. Okay. Okay, can I make this Comet Shard? Okay. Very nice. And that's really all I can do for now, isn't it? Oh yeah, uh, this. Wow. Great. Yeah, well, anyway. We're, we're like the best we can be at this point. So I think Leviathan is going to be a little bit surprised. He might be a little bit crying. He might be a little bit baby. Alright, so I guess we're not going to be able to do that. Uh, very sad. Very sad. I wonder if I like went into T-Edit, could I fix that or not? I uh, guess we're going to another world. Also, look at this cool menu. This is so cool. I had no idea, like, you could even do this, but yeah, you can actually have custom menus now. See? Very cool. Anyway, I'll see you on another world. Okay, so, some bad news, I guess. I tried to make a new world, like, ten different times, and every time it would give me an error. So, I cannot make a new world. So that's great. So my other workaround for this is that I installed a cheat sheet and I'm just going to go to the ocean and spawn in the siren itself because I don't think it'll enrage. I tested it and I think it should be fine. Hope you guys are ready. I'm kind of ready, I guess. You know what? No, I'm, I'm super ready. Leviathan is not going to know what hit him. Question mark. That's literally how I see women. This is not about you, Trash Gator. Here we go. Okay, well, that was easier than I thought it would be. Crabs, go away. Stupid worm. Eight worms. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of stuff, the community. Oh my. Let's take a look at this relic. Pretty cool, pretty cool. NGL. Sorry, platform. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Now, I wasn't really happy with the visibility. I feel like you probably couldn't see it very well. Oh wow. Uh, so I'm actually just gonna fire it again. For the viewer experience. But I'm not gonna use this weapon, because I want to get the full- I want you to get the full experience, okay? Doing this for you guys.
There we go, that's way better. Okay. Yeah, very hard to see in the first fight, honestly. Alright, let's get out of here. Go away. You're a fish, Amidas. You want this stuff, right? Thought about doing a full underwater playthrough. I saw someone do that once and it looked really cool, but also that'd be terrible. Here are my swag trophies. Isn't this like a rare weapon or something? I don't even know. Finally, I have Atlantis! I guess. Which is used for the Tenebrous Tides, which is a melee weapon. How disappointing. Well, anyway, what's next? Astrum Oris. I don't think so. Here's the thing with me and Astrum Oris. We don't have a very good relationship, right? I tend to get destroyed by Astrum Oris. Um, but simply. And I don't think this will be assisted by the fact that the Astral Biome is essentially non-existent. Does he enrage outside of the Astral Biome? If not, then that shouldn't be a problem, but if he does, then that's going to be a major problem. Let me look this up, actually. That might help. I should, yeah, I'll just look it up. Okay, so the wiki doesn't actually say anything about it enraging, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that it does not enrage outside the Astral Biome. Uh, because I don't want that to happen. I will simply not acknowledge it. For all intents and purposes, enraged bosses are just how they're meant to be fought. You guys think that's big enough? That looks pretty big to me. Yeah, this should be plenty. This should be plenty. Glad I'm like back to the point in the game where there's only bosses to do and like nothing else. Oh boy, and then after that, Golem, and that'll be, you know, the lunar phase and everything, right after Plaguebringer, I guess. Betsy, Empress of Light, Ravager, Duke Fishron. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do! I see no other reason to uh, postpone Astrum Oris. Except for the fact that I'm scared because I suck at this boss fight, like, badly. Maybe with the healing I'll be fine. Dude, calm down. Okay. Best boss fight music though, honestly. It's really good. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to avoid that. Oh. Okay.
Okay. Very cool. The astral enemies haven't been empowered. Okay, great. Good for them. You know what? Power to them. Yeah, I, I honestly don't understand how to do that fight. Only way I won is because I was out healing him with my mage stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm fully aware of that. I'll admit, I'm a loser, okay? Also, my helmet that shoots off the little things whenever I hit enemies was kind of like always homing on to the things that if you attacked would home and try to kill you. And that was like the opposite of what I wanted, so... Well, that was an experience. That's all I have to say, really. Let's see what I got. I got the magic thing. Okay, cool. Ashmore's mask is actually pretty cool, honestly. For some reason, that fits. That fits really well. <laughs> okay. We rockin' that, I guess. It does it home, though. Oh yeah, and give me the relic. The relics! My frame rates! Yeah, that's pretty cool. NGL. Space crab. I guess I could go get the uh, dungeon chest for the astro biome, but I'm like relatively confident it's just a rogue weapon, so I can't be bothered really. Well, anyway, that's Astro Morris out of the way. Big crab, very nice. He looks cool in his boss music bangs, but I don't understand the boss fight. Feel free to stone me, okay? And up next is Gollum, but we don't really have time for that this episode, so if you enjoyed, Smash the subscribe button! Smash the like button! Come to my house! Put a pipe bomb in my mailbox! Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you'd like, and I'll see you next time. Hello, Fallen Star. Thank you for giving your cameo. Attention seeker.